Okay, to make this little gift box, let me set that aside. You're going to need one piece of cardstock that is 10 and 3 quarters by 12. And we're going to do some scoring and cutting. So we're going to put the 10 and 3 quarters at the top. Let me look at my paper. We're going to score at one half. At two and a half. And I think eight and at eight and a quarter. Had to check my paper and ten and a quarter. Then we're going to turn it to the twelve inch side. And we're going to score at one four and a half at six and a half and at ten. Now this portion where you have this larger section is going to be the box. This is going to be the front and the lid. So what we want to do is take our scissors and we're going to cut on this second line up to the third one and stay on the inside edge of that score line if you can and get it as straight as possible. Sometimes that's easier said than done. I'm going to cut up to that. And if you don't get it perfectly straight you can always come back and clean it up. Now we're going to go to the second score mark and take that out. We're going to cut in on this little line right here. And then this is going to be one of our tabs. So we're going to angle cut that right here. And then we're going to angle cut this one. And take those out. I'm going to do the same thing to the opposite side on the inside of that score line just so that you can get rid of that little indention that it makes there. Go all the way to the third one. And then take out from your second score line. I'm going to angle this one. piece out. If you have to pull it out, pull from the back so you don't tear your paper. And then we'll angle this side and cut straight on this line. Okay, so far this is what we have. This will be the front of your box, or the lid. So we're going to go around to the box side now. This is the deeper part. We're going just to cut up to the first line, again on the inside of that score line. And we're going to take this one out and we can angle cut it because that is our other tab. And we want to cut right there. Take that out. And let's angle this one a little bit. straight over here and then angle it angle this one and this one is straight and 
Okay. So there's what you have. So let's fold and burnish on all these lines. tabs folded. This is the easiest box I have ever made. And I tell you, there's a ton of boxes out there on the internet. Now see, I didn't get this one straight, so let's trim that up. And this one I need to straighten up a little bit. I didn't take enough off of it. But you can always go back and take more. Fold up on this little tab. This is going to be our little inside tab on the box. Catch that little goodie there. And now let's burnish these. Keep them nice and straight, as straight as you can. So your box will close nice and neat. Now, on this front edge where it closes, I like to take just a snip off. Doesn't have to be much, but it's going to close inside the edge. So I like to give it a little leeway there. Okay, and then I'm going to take my We Are Memory Keepers rounder and I'm going to round these corners just make some clothes nice slide easier and then these two little flaps here I like to round those as well fold these little tabs in so you can get your get it in your rounder you have directional paper, you'll have to pay attention uh, to how you place it because this goes up and this goes up. So if you have directional paper, you don't want it to be upside down. Mine is not directional. I, I chose the holly paper. I don't have a lot of scraps left, but I thought this would be pretty on there, and I'm just going to place these on the front and the two side pieces like this. So we'll go ahead and put those down, and then we'll punch our hole. So we have a gift box with a view. And I ink these with black soot just lightly, very lightly. some glue oozing out there. And I don't have a dry wipe handy at the moment. I need to get some more out and dry them out. <clears throat> Here's this one. Last one.
Okay. I'm going to wipe my glue bottle off and get my cap on it because I won't need it for a little while. Okay, for the lid. Now you can use dies, you can use punches, or you can use your ruler and a craft knife and cut it. However you want to do it. I am going to use the same scallop punch I used on the other one. Not a whole of it, not a whole lot of it is going to show. But I'm just going to put the punch in just as far as it'll go and kind of ballpark it even from top to bottom and punch. Mine's kind of stiff due to our humidity. There we go. You can save these. You can use these for embellishments later. I've still I've got the saved the black ones from the other box. I will turn it around on the other side and do the same thing. Just kind of ballpark it, line it up as best you can. Let's see if I can pinch it this time. If you ever caught your finger, your hand in these punches, they hurt. My punches are old and they're getting pretty stiff. Okay. Now's when we need the craft knife. So that we can connect these two. And I'm just going to go from this highest point to this one. And do my best to line them up. farther. Pretty near me too far. Yeah, it's got just a little nip there, but I can fix that with my scissors. And I'll turn it around and do the same thing on the opposite end. From there to there. Move this up just a little bit. scissors and I'll get it or not. There, I got it. I got lucky on that one. Okay, so now we need a piece of acetate. Let me grab that real quick. Forgot to get my acetate out. So I need a piece that is about five and a quarter by I'm gonna say three. So let me cut that real quick. Cut it three off this short end. See this when you cut it. Okay, let's see if that's going to work. Yes, that will cover it just fine. And that's going to go on the inside right here. So we'll use our quarter inch score tape. See what I'm doing. 
Here we go. Take a scrap of black. Put it right along the edge. Get my fingerprints all over it. Oops, press that down. Okay, there's that. Okay, let's make sure it's on there good. I'm take this backing off. Position it right over that opening so our gold doesn't show. There we go. Now you can put another piece of cardstock on the inside if you want to. I didn't on mine, but that's totally up to you. Okay, so now we want to add glue to these tabs. I'm telling you, this little thing comes together so quick. And let me get my clothespins over here. And we're going to attach this. Square up our corners. Make sure they're nice and even. pin right here. And then I want to burnish this one up, or match this one up. Get a nice square corner. And we'll put a clothes pin in here as well. Finish them down. And then we can do the front. Let me wipe this off again to make sure that stays clean. So push these in, match up your corners. Push them into place with my fingers. Okay, now these little goodies fold in. Oops, let me burnish these some more now that I got the clothespins off. over and tucks in and it's so cute it was so quick and so easy 
probably didn't take us 30 minutes. I just think they're adorable, but I needed a really quick gift for a um, name draw I had where I work, and I know the lady that I drew loves Hostess Cupcakes, so that's how I came up with this little gift, and I just um, used a die that said just for you that I had and some of the ribbon that came in the Craftology box. This is one of the stickers. I had a couple of little flowers in my stash and some jute, and I just embellished it, put one of the stickers on the this corner with one of the enamel dots, and that's it. And I've cut out some things for this one. And I did the Just For You in green this time. And I thought I would put it here with one of the houses. Like that. With the Santa mug, maybe. See what I mean? You're not going to see a whole lot of the... And I don't know if I want to use this on it or not. It's kind of big for it. I may decide to put the little mug over here and just put the house in the just for you here. Or I can put a ribbon there. I mean, there's just so many things you can do with it. Go through your stickers and your ephemera and embellishments and see what you got that you want to use. Also, you can punch a notch here if you want to. Um, just to give it like a little thumb notch. You don't really need one, but you can if you want to. But I just thought it was super cute. So that's my project, using up my scraps from the Craftology box. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.